on today's episode of Inspirational Chat, I'll be speaking with a popular Ghanaian online journalist whose net worth is about one to five million dollars. Stick and stay, we'll be right back and find out more. Hi, and welcome back. Yes, welcome to Inspirational Chats. Thank you very much for the opportunity. How do you do? How do you do? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Okay. Is it true they are worth a million dollars? <laughs> As speculating. Well, you rightly put it speculation. Yeah. Um, uh, I am nowhere near that. <laughs> so how much is your million dollars? Well, um, I, I, I'm not able to put a um, specific story, but um, I work and I can a bit of what uh, uh, I work for, so uh, I have not really put pen to paper to really check my work, but um, I have a sense. Oh, you saw online. It doesn't bother you. Oh, I love, uh, I love, I love, rough. I don't know the uh, information they are using to say that I'm um, not one of one. Um, before we start the interview, let's get to know you. Who is Kent Mensa? Well, um, let me just try to summarize it because I may end up <laughs> talking about myself too and I'm not So, um, I am a four decades old on earth. Okay. I am a father. To a beautiful wife, one girl, and then uh, we have four kids, two males uh, coming at the beginning, and then two females coming at the end. So, two boys, two girls. Two girls yeah. Wow. And I've been practicing journalism uh, since the year 2000. Uh, I've done print, uh, from print, I moved on to online since 2005, and that is what I've been doing uh, to this day. Um, you have over 16 years experience in online journalism. Oh, yeah. You've written for a lot of foreign media and local media, such as VOA, um, Al Jazeera Africa, CTFM, Star FM Online, Assassin Radio. What keeps you going? Well, um, I always tell people that your job should be your home. If your job is not your own, then this is not worth dying for. So I enjoy what I do. So I think that the only thing will be something that I will forever be doing. If but don't you get stressed? Stressed? Well, it's a stressful job. Mm -hmm. It's a stressful job. But uh, you need to find time to balance your time. Irrespective of the time consuming the job and job, I try as much as possible to balance it to the extent that I have time for family, I have time for myself and also um, have some social life as well. So I know friends do complain, uh, family do complain, but um, at the end of the day, as I said initially, your job should be your hobby. So I, 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 I work without knowing that I'm working. I work thinking that I mean, it's, it's, it's something that I, I get enjoyment from it. So, you know, um, I end up feeling the stress sometimes later, but it is worth it, and I try as much as possible to have at least, at least 45 hours in the day, so that I don't end up thinking that. Since you started your journalism um, career, what was your first job you got? Okay, so um, let me just um, send you back a bit. So, the year 2000, that was when I finished with um, senior high school. Those days we call it senior secondary school. Um, so, myself and two of my colleagues, Khalifa Zatzano and then I think so, we started writing in a newspaper, um, a student column. Mm -hmm. So, I started off um, as a student columnist um, with print. So, I worked for print from 2000 to 2005 before um, I had a scholarship to Germany to um, do online journalism. And when I came back, I decided that well, this is what I do. I'm made for. So I decided to go into it. You know, those days, online was quite fresh. Yeah. A lot of people were not into it. So a lot of people saw it as this is my alien. This is not something that will survive. Or well, it is uh, kind of um, uh, funny stuff for young people to be doing. But 
that today here we are online in the formal school and everybody seems to be going online. So I think I took the right decision. Okay, you took the right decision. Um, do you regret that? Like, do you have any regrets in choosing that career? Not at all. I will do online yesterday, I will do online today, and I will do online tomorrow. It is something I think. Uh, that is in my opinion. Yeah. So yeah. Wow. Well, if they offer you another job, do you accept? Unless probably um, if you probably want to give me a teaching job. I think that I enjoy teaching and even with that, I think I end up doing more or imparting people with my journalism uh, experience. I've had different offers uh, outside India, but I think that um, the time is not right for me. My DNA is built to do online. It is uh, an important setting to do online. So, probably, maybe when I think about retiring, I'll probably be thinking about other professions as an online consultant. But it will still be related to the yeah, yeah. We have done, we have worked with both local and foreign media. When you look at how the foreign media produce their content compared to the local one, which one um, is more heavier than? It's more heavier. Let me put it in there. Well, um, I, I, I think that um, it does not even come up for a debate or argument uh, at all. Because if you look at how the um, international media produce or um, look at their content, you would realize that um, they really pay attention to details. There are a lot of things that we gloss over, even as editors in this country or in this part of the world. We may allow it to pass as gatekeepers. But if you have a chance to work with the international media, you realize that they are really critical about certain things that you think that, oh, they are listening now and they are so well good. But no, they will question you and ask you, how can we even get this? Can we talk to this person? Uh, and can we rephrase it this way? So, uh, attention to details is very critical, and then quality is also of great uh, uh, importance to them. So, we have a long way to go to learn because uh, for, for us, we are more or less like doing what I call the fast food sort of things. Mm -hmm. We just want to get things like that and let it go. But for them, although they are breaking the they make sure that the ingredients to make sure that you have a single uh, standard for news, it is set up the public. Okay. Um, in 2014, you joined key influences on my journalists, which include the entire Martin um, and the other men to launch a get to launch Let's Go Ghana, the free Ghana campaign. Um, does, does this campaign exist? Is it in existence? No, no. I, I, I think it was um, uh, a campaign that that was for a specific period. Okay. Um, uh, 2014, I think it's related to maybe a major sports. Could it be the World Cup or African Cup? I, I really don't think I remember. But I think it was um, a campaign that was launched by it's either UNDP or UNICEF just to group up to support uh, and create awareness for, for a specific cause. So it, it, it no longer exists here. Yeah. You were named among the top 50 Ghanaian journalists in Ghana. Hmm. How did you feel when you were the news? Um, to be frank with you, it was normal for me. Uh, I didn't even know. You top of. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I, 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 I didn't even know about it until somebody tapped me on Facebook that um, I think it was a balance media or so. Yeah, that's it. They are, 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 I've won only two hours. Two hours. One personal one, that was when I was six years and I became I was a personal student in primary school. <laughs> and then Brian, in primary Brian. school. And then in my career as a journalist, uh, I think somewhere in 2017, 
2017, I led the online team to win the CIMG Emerging Digital Media Award. So, uh, if you could clearly tell, personally, I don't enter awards. Uh, I feel that uh, awards are people or trophies are people who I personally enjoy. And there are a lot of things that I have been patterned on. So, mentioning my name, uh, and saying that I have played a part in their life, it's quite satisfactory than awards. I'm not saying awards are awards, mm -hmm. but they don't validate me. I put my work to validate who I am. I don't need awards. Well, if somebody nominates me and I win, fine. But for me personally, to really go for it, it is not my thing. Unless maybe something changes, fine. But I'm not saying I wouldn't want to enter awards. But if somebody wants to um, use my work to enter awards for, for my year, why not? But I, I, I'm not really, really slept to say that I'm really going to chase a certain award. I don't need that. Now, let's talk about healing. Mm. <laughs> what is your thought on that? Should Parliament approve the E-Levy? That, that, that is a, a very controversial <laughs> question. Yeah. Well, um, I think that looking at it from on the face of E-Levy is quite controversial because um, it's, it's, it's um, a kind of levy that a lot of Ghanaians feel that it's going to have uh, or add to the good hardship that people are going through. I am someone who uses um, mobile money or not. And I've always been complaining that why should I be charged when I transfer money from my bank up to my wallet? And then when I'm transferring it to you, I'm also charging it. So, oh, my the my own money. So, um, is it that the ELB is going to add to it? The costs that are going to do, if that is the case, then government may have to take a second look at it. So, government should they, should they, should they pass it on the next I'm saying that government should may have to have a second look at it. If I am going to pay double or if um, the, the, the fee I'm going to pay, which I am already complaining, if government is going to add to that cost. Okay. Then you may have to have a, a second look at it. Either to reduce uh, the percentage or probably repaying it. Now, let's talk about your education. Mm. Where did you school? Well, um, where should I start from? Um, Crutch? <laughs> oh, um, primary. Okay, so secondary. I went to Ed and Drum, um School after the work mm -hmm. when I was a, a very young. When I was preschool and college, primary school, I went to Pep's Parent Experimental Primary School at North Carolina. Um, uh, I think who was it to be specific? I don't even know whether the school still exists. Then from there, I went to Carnegie uh, Academy DSS. I'm a typical South Indian boy, and I'm proud of it. Then after Carnegie Academy DSS, I went to St. Thomas Aquinas Secondary School, the best school. Africa, senior high school, not in Ghana, not in Ghana Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, from St. Thomas Aquinas uh, Senior High School, uh, I went to the University of Education of Nuba and the uh, campus here at the Institute uh, to study uh, communication science. Then from there, I went to the International uh, Institute of Journalism in Berlin. Uh, I've been there on a couple of, I think on three occasions, uh, being my journalism, online journalism, so I did uh, basic online journalism and then two advice as well. And I'm currently doing uh, internet journalism with the London Institute of uh, uh, London School of Journalism. Yeah, that is uh, oh. online. Oh. Um, who is your best journalism? My best journalist in that, that's quite controversial. I have a lot of journalists who don't create trouble for me. <laughs> but um, I, I, I wouldn't say best journalist, but I, I think there are um, a lot of journalists that are doing well that uh, are worth emulating or also walking in the steps uh, as well as the young people who are having come. So I would mention an answer in my own house. Setting a pitch in the seat of the world. I'll mention the master's winning, a winning, uh, who is also setting a very good pitch in the world. Uh, there is a young journalist that people uh, 
becoming celebrated yet, and um, I will mention that I will see and it's doing very well in the facility schools. Um, there is this journalist also, um, a very good writer, it's called Samifel Pong. He writes a lot of very good uh, sports um, stuff. Gary Altmit also comes to mind. And also, Uwe Kwafu. He is an unsung hero, very quiet in the digital space. And now, Maria Debra is also doing very well. There may be other people that are not doing too much in the I deliberately did not mention the people who are pros and others because yeah, 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 their days are gone. <laughs> this is our time. Okay. Um, if you are given a chance to have a lunch with some important person, who would you have? Oh, a chance to have a, 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 a lunch with an important person. Yeah. It depends on the important person you are talking about. But, um, at the moment, I think it wouldn't be fair to have um, a, a, a dinner and a meeting conversation with the president of the US. Joe um, Biden. Yeah, sure. I think it wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad to have a meeting conversation with somebody like Ali Kodan Bokin and then um, the Gates. These are people that um, I would love to yeah, yeah. have a meeting with. But when it comes to dinner, of course, everybody would have um, would love to. Why not? I mean, an interview with someone like President Abifuado, former President Mahama, or before, who was also in the Bible talk. Now, your final advice to um, the young ones who are coming up, who want to be, who want to be the media, uh, online, especially online, your final ways to Well, my final advice, uh, especially if you want to be in online, read, read, read. Try as much as possible to read. Read as much as you can. Uh, you can start with reading one book every month. Yeah, because if you want to be a, a very good journalist, you need to um, broaden your horizon and widen your scope and understanding of everything. So read more. The more you read, the better your understanding of stuff, and then the better you can also write and communicate. People think that communication is about um, being pedantic or um, speaking big English and vocabulary and jargon. That is not communication. If you are communicating, if you are a journalist and you are writing, and my one year old daughter cannot understand, then you are not communicating. Simple English is what uh, takes you uh, places. So please pay attention to details, read, write very simple, basic English. And then you become one of the best journalists. If you really want to be an online journalist, I also advise you don't make, uh, don't let your health or don't take your health for granted. Don't sit for long. Yeah, I have a backache or a spine uh, 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 injury because of I've been sitting since 2005. So, and it's, 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 been, a, it's, been, it's been a burden I'm working with. It's been a pain that I've gone through. It, it, it really hurts. So don't sit for long. Pay attention to your home. When you sit an hour, try to stretch your legs. 20 minutes. Sit another hour, 20 minutes. I try to do it, but I'm not so disciplined about it. But this is uh, my advice to young people. You are too young to break your back. You are too young to break your Do you like music? I do. <laughs> try something with music. Ah, anything we yellow I've been listening to Opera I've been listening to. I think uh, there was this song, is it, is it Shoulder? Uh, 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 Only a Shoulder, something, something. Uh, uh, I did that, I did that in some, some guy. You, you may have to check. I'm not good at singing, I'm not good at keeping lyrics, but I, I, I try as much as well to remember titles. So, as a little song, Shoulder, we are like. Are we recording? Are we live? <laughs> okay, okay. Sure. Sure. sure.
Chalo. Thank <laughs> you.